Hello guys, what's up? I hope you will fine and good. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can work with SketchUp 2024 and how we can do some 3D modelings on it. So let's get to work. First of all, this is the environment in SketchUp 2024 and I want to press Ctrl S and save one of my files with any type of name that I want. For example, number one, and I'm gonna press save. So this character, if I click on it, I can select it. And if I press delete on my keyboard, I can delete it very simple and easy. For drawing, you need to change the units. So I will click on the window, model info, click on the units, change the uh, lengths from meter to centimeter, area to centimeter, and volume to centimeter. So now your unit changed to the centimeter and you can draw by this measure. You remember I delete the woman in here. So if I click on the statics, I can click on the purge unused and fix problems and delete all unused textures for my job. So in this case, I want to show you first of all how we can move in a SketchUp environment. If you hold a scroll on your mouse, you can orbit very simple and easy. And if you hold shift plus scroll, you can pan in your environment, something like that. If I hold left control and scroll, I can orbit a little bit dynamic, as you can see in here. And scroll zoom in or zoom out, very simple and easy, like that. So it's about the controls in here. Now time for the drawing. I'm going to start my job with the line tool. If I click on the line tool, I can draw some line on the green axis, another one on the uh, red axis, and another one on the uh, blue axis. Something like that, very simple and easy. If you want to draw your lines with dimension, you need to click on the line option, left click, and draw some line on green axis, for example, in 1000 centimeters. Like that, very simple and easy. So it's work very simple and it completely depends on you how you want to use it. Next item is the free hand. If I click on the free hand, I can draw some lines like that in my environment. Very simple, easy, and fast. As you can see, intersects can create faces in here, and you can use it in different type of ways, shapes, and some other things. Most of the time, free hand not really useful. In architectural design and modeling. So, if I want to delete all of these items, first level is related to eraser. If I click on the eraser, I can delete these lines one by one, and you can see all of them can't be selected and removed. So, you can press Ctrl A and press Delete on your keyboard, and now you can see everything is removed and erased for you. So, it's about the eraser, very simple. So I want to start my job with the rectangle. I'm going to draw some rectangle on origin point. So I'm going to select it, left click. And you can see at the right side button, we have dimensions. For example, I need some box with 50 centimeter to 50 centimeter. And now it's created for me. So how we can type it, I'm going to show you. Click on the rectangle, draw your rectangle. Now don't click to apply your rectangle. In this mission, you need to type your first dimension, comma, space, and another dimension, and press enter. As you can see, it's selected for you. Now I can click on the uh, push or pull option for extruding, but I don't know how I can do this job. So I move my cursor on the face that I want to extrude, click, and move it to the upside, downside, like that, I want to extrude it on the upside and type 100 centimeter. Very simple and easy, just like this. So about the selection, we have lasso tool in here, which helps you to select part of your job or selection tool, which lets you to select all of your job. So it's completely related to how you want to use it. If I triple click on my object i can select all the details lines and faces which related to it so in this case i'm going to click on the paint bucket and show you how we can add some materials for our 3d model sometimes it takes some lags and rips it depends on your graphic card and pc config for example i want to select these cream zone color 
and add it to these faces these orange color to these parts gold color for this part and something like blue for this part as you can see we can colorize it very simple and easy so you can select color pick it up add it pick it up add it pick it up add it very simple and it's a really easy work in here so I'm going to select all of these boxes in here, right click and click on the make group in here. Now I have one group. If I click on the move option, I can move it. If I click on the rotate option, I can rotate it. And if I click on the uh, scale option in here, I can rescale it like this. Very simple. So now you learn how to work with move, rotate and scale. So I'm going to select it delete it now i'm going to click on the rectangle draw my first rectangle with some dimension about 100 comma 60 centimeter click on the extrude option extrude it a little bit about 60 centimeter and my first model generated for me so next item related to drawing circle i'm going to click on the circle in here and draw some circle on my previous model something like that like this and i want to click on the uh, extrude option again extrude it like that or i can move it to backside and extrude it like this so it completely depends on you how you want to train with it next item related to polygons if i click on the polygon in here i can draw my six side polygon in here and move it to the back side or if i click on the polygon another time before i draw my polygon on some type of faces in here we have sides and i can type for example 12 press enter now i have draw some 12 side polygon and i can use it in different type of views and shapes so it's very simple and you can use it in different type of ways I have this model and I want to take some copies. How I can do this job? First of all, I want to talk about rotate copy because it's harder than normal copy. So click on the rotate option, select one of these points, lines, or midpoints as your endpoint and source point. I prefer to check out midpoint. Before you click, you need to press Ctrl, plus icon added to your cursor now you can left click draw your first line to some direction like this midpoint left click and now you can rotate very simple and easy on 90 degrees so i'm going to type 90 enter and now i need four copies of this object as a matter of fact three copies so i'm going to type 3x and press enter and now these type of shape generated for me. It doesn't matter how it looks like. We only want to teach this point how we can use copy option in our projects. So you learn how to take rotate copy in here. I'm going to delete it. And now time for modeling another thing. So till now, if this content is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. So let's get to continue this job. I'm going to click on the uh, circle, draw some circle like this, click on the align option, and I want to create some sphere in SketchUp. So without any type of a special plugin, first of all, I need to draw some line in here, click on the align option, another line in here, something about, for example, this one. And now I want to talk about how we can use two-point arc. If you want to draw some arcs in your project, you need to click on the two-point arc, endpoint to endpoint, and something like this is good. So I draw this quadrum sphere, I think, and I want to follow it through this way, but I don't know how. So in this case, we will talk about follow me option 
For following option, you can create multi-type of profiles and it helps you to make more realistic models. First of all, you need to select your path. So I'm going to select this line in here. Click on the follow me option. And after that, you need to select your profile. My profile in here is this sphere. So I'm going to click on it and hemisphere modeled for me. Now I'm going to take another copy. So I'm going to click on the move, press control, copy activated. And now on the blue axis, I'm going to take one copy in here. So how I can join these two models with each other? Very simple. First of all, you need to click on the flip option in here. And if you use a sketch of versions lower than 2024, if you right click on your model like that, if you select it, right click, you can see the flip option in here. Right now in the SketchUp 2024, we don't have it, but it's not really hard work. So I'm going to select it, flip option on the blue axis, click on the move option, select this point to this one, and some type of a sphere created for me, as you can see. I'm going to select it, click on the escape, and rescale it a little bit to make it more a sphere, something like that. Click on the move option, take multiple copies, for example, 10 copies. And now you can see what really happened. So we can do these type of jobs in SketchUp very simple. And I think it's enough for part one. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Train all of these details and goodbye.